Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you live from beautiful Budapest. I hope everybody's week is off to a good and healthy start. Today we are looking at speaking part one, giving complete band nine answers. Hi Rimshaw. Hi Michael Fan. I'm glad you're able to become a new member of our channel. I know you've been trying that for a while. Hi, Kyber Moman. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, Azar. Welcome, students. Students, this class is brought to you by aehelp.com for the academic version of the exam. Check us out there where you have lots of help. And for the general version, check us out at G I E L T S help.com. Now, I'm very excited to show you a new feature of our website that's working beautifully and uh, students have started using it. So this is the academic version of our website here with the blue background. The general version looks like this with the green background. You can join the premium package by clicking that red join now button and uh, when you join our websites, you have lots and lots of help there to improve for all sections of the exam. I'm going to darken it up so you can see this clearly while I show you this. So with the academic website for the academic IELTS here, it's the same in the general. You can click up here to go into your My uh, Student account. And I showed you this last week, and I'm happy that many students started using this. I checked a few times, and I saw students talking to each other. You have this really nice feature. So you have lots of great materials and help and interactive courses and videos, but you have this feature too, which is called student partner uh, speaking. How many of you tried this? I just want to know. Members, have you tried this? Have you found people to talk to? We're really promoting this. Don't be shy if you see somebody uh, in this part of the website, just uh, click on it, okay? I'm going to brighten the screen up in a moment uh, once I show you this. Back, John, I know you tried because you had a live speaking interview with me on this part, so that's great, okay? All right, so when you click that button, you have to accept the terms, which means that you play nice with others, and then once you do that, uh, you'll be logged in. And then uh, you're going to see a list of students in here. And again, students, keep logging in and keep this page open. Don't be shy. Kind of wave to each other, say a hello, and then just start speaking. Uh, Kyber, you will find someone because I see people jumping in all the time. Okay, so keep that window open and you will find people to uh, join there. Okay, and then we're going this week, we're adding a whole bunch of speaking questions. Uh, to this part of the website. So you will have lots of speaking questions as well, Kyber, okay? So go there, use it, students, okay? Keep waiting, Kyber, so keep the window open. If you're at home, just keep it open, keep looking at it, okay? That's the right step. We're going to promote it lots, so you will see students in here, okay? There we go, see, somebody just jumped in. There's Ferry Ozbeck, and now if another student joins in, then you can connect. Then you can connect by text, video, and by phone, and it's really, really good, okay? So keep trying it, students. Keep trying it, all right? There's Lepuge. Now, if Lepuge wants to stop, start talking to Ferry Ozbeck, all you have to do is you can start a text message and say, hi, I'd like to speak with you, and then Ferry, let me make this bigger. Now, there's Sammy, see? And that's what you need to do is just connect, if you click on one and they're not available, it means they might be talking to somebody else. Uh, later this week, we'll have a feature that shows you who's talking, who's not talking. Yes, uh, it's absolutely free. So Sandiha is asking, is that free? Yeah, it's absolutely free, students. So you don't have to pay for this. It's 100% free, okay? And don't be shy. So if you don't want to see each other's face, just do an audio chat, okay? If you're okay with showing your face, then do a video chat. You can discuss that, okay? All right, and it's free. Yeah, that's the good news. It is totally free, okay? There's Bexon in there now. Of course, if you have pairs, that's better. Great, there you go. You get the idea. 
Okay, so that's in your My Student page. Again, you just click on the student partner speaking after you log into your My Student account. Awesome, okay. Vincent, it's free and you can use it as many times as you want. And later this week, we're adding a whole bunch of speaking questions in there that you can choose uh, from and use, okay? And general IELTS students, you have the same in your green, okay? So they're linked together, all right? Because the speaking section is the same. Awesome, students. So I'm happy to share that with you. We'll be promoting it lots. Talk to each other. Use it, okay? Keep that window open when you're at home on your computer. And we're constantly developing that part of the website as well, okay? Thank you, Grave Esports. Okay, let's brighten up the screen a little bit so you don't just see my silhouette. There I am, hi. <laughs> All right, if it's too bright, let me know. Um, here we go, students. So today we will practice some speaking in this live class also, uh, and uh, again, it is a speaking class, so make sure to speak and repeat, okay? Don't just type. Typing is good. You're practicing your writing, but also speak, okay? Yeah, all right. Uh, Knock, you can use it on your phone as well. It's fully responsive, okay? So you can use it on your phone also, okay? So uh, if you have questions uh, about our products, our apps, our websites, just send me an email, adrian at aehelp.com, okay? Here we go, students. So this week, um, our schedule, we start today with speaking. Tomorrow, uh, we will have uh, some um, reading. And uh, that's for members, and then uh, we'll have some more reading for everyone. So tomorrow's classes will focus on reading, okay? Uh, for the rest of the week, the schedule, we'll have speaking, we'll have a question and answer session, we'll have task one writing. Uh, you can always see the schedule on the YouTube channel, okay? You're very welcome, Nock, Ravi, absolutely. Okay, uh, so... Again, this class is focusing on giving band nine answers. So just a couple of strategy points. This is review for some of you. For some of you, it's new. Okay. What you want to focus on for giving complete answers is answer using the question. Give full explanations. And smooth examples. Okay, we'll work on these and I'll show you these as we cover the questions. And today I want you really to focus on using some correlative conjunctions as well. Uh, one of the, or a couple of the correlative conjunctions that we rarely hear used in the exam is either or, whether or, neither nor. Okay, so try to use these, all right, in today's class. So use either or, whether or, neither, nor. Okay, so you get into the IELTS interview. You'll be greeted by the examiner. They will welcome you. You paid good money to be there. Be confident. Don't be scared. They see lots of students that day. They've been doing this a long time. Uh, just be yourself. Imagine the examiner is like your grandfather or your grandmother. That means speak in full sentences, speak respectfully, clearly, loud, right? Grandma, grandpa, maybe they don't hear so well anymore. So speak loud. And remember, grandma, grandpa grew up two generations before you. They don't know about WhatsApp. They don't know about Instagram. They don't have the same ideas that you have Explain your thoughts clearly, okay? All right, uh, so once you have this, I see somebody's trying to call me, but I'm teaching a class <laughs> on the uh, speaking and the website. Okay, so once you have uh, this... Um, this introduction, they'll ask for your name, they'll ask for your identification, make sure you have the identification with you 
that you use to register or they won't let you continue, okay? And then um, they'll ask you a few questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. That's part one. So let's start with these today, okay? Today we'll skip the identification and the full name and let's just get right into this one. What did you do this morning? So just a couple of questions to get to get feel you uh, get you to feel more comfortable okay so what did you do this morning give me a nice full sentence answer for that one okay mohammed thanks for answering that question mohammed hussein okay all right uh tito bati says i woke up early this morning and freshened up after that i prayed to god as i usually do then i went for a nice healthy walk I believe that waking up early in the morning is not only a good idea, but it keeps me fresh all day. Okay, a little bit of repetition uh, there, Tito. The expression we use is I got freshened up. So I got up this morning around 6 a.m. and then freshened up. Okay, that's the expression, Tito, freshened up. It means wash your face, brush your teeth, maybe take a shower, freshened up, okay? Flower Sun says, this morning I had an online class with my high school. The class took me about one hour. After that, I had some homework to do and then studied new vocabulary to improve my English. Okay, good flower son. Now, again, students, remember, um, you want to explain yourself as much as possible. So keep practicing explanations also. So I got up this morning around 6 a.m. and then freshened up um, because I had to start work by uh, 7.30, at which time... I was hosting an important meeting uh, in my company to discuss the new budget plan, okay? So remember this answer, explanation, and then of course, smooth example, all right? So here the example is part of the answer, so you don't have to say anything different but you should explain. So why are you waking up at 6 a.m.? Because I like to go for an early run, because I like to make breakfast for my family before they wake up, okay? So give reasons to your ideas, always. I really want you to focus on that. So I got up this morning around 6 a.m. and then freshened up because I had to start work by 7.30, at which time I was hosting an important meeting in my company to discuss the new budget plan. Okay. Next question. I'm going to look at a lot of answers, students. I just want to get going here and make sure to repeat what I say. Okay. So speak and repeat and repeat questions also. So read the questions, repeat the questions aloud, nice and loud. Hear yourself, move your mouth. Okay. Here we go. Uh, what do you plan to do on the weekend? Give me a nice full sentence answer for this one. What do you plan to do on the weekend? Panther Lyrics says, my plan on the weekend is having fun with my friends uh, by going out for some food and cracking some jokes and then having some fun in the midnight. Okay. Panther lyrics. Sounds like a good idea. Give details. Rimshot Classes says, I woke up early in the morning at 5 a.m. I've completed my daily activities like brushing my teeth, washing my face till around 5.30, and then I prayed. Okay. Why? Why did you do that? Again, give me some explanations. That was obviously for the previous one, Rimshaw. Uh, Tito says, I mostly plan to spend my time with friends and family. I believe that it's a great way to relieve stress. We usually get together on the weekends and share our life experiences while having a uh, barbecue. Um, Tito, not bad. It's general, though. Here I'm asking you what you plan to do on this weekend. 
Okay, so this is specific to this weekend. What do you plan to do this weekend? Make sure you're accurately answering questions, students. For those high band scores, your answers have to be very specific to the question. All right. Okay, so uh, Shirojidin Abdul Holikyov says, due to the pandemic, I will neither hang out with friends nor go hiking, so I'm staying at home and likely reading a book. Currently, I'm really into uh, the life of Pi. Okay, Shirojidin, so uh, really nice. Shirojidin, you get my first thumbs up for using that neither nor, right? Everybody catch how Shiroji didn't did that? Remember students, these will get you points for grammar, vocabulary, fluency, either or, whether or, neither nor. So that was really good, all right? I like that, you're paying attention to my instructions. So due to the lockdown, since the outbreak of this COVID-19 pandemic, I will neither be hanging out with friends nor meeting up with family. Rather, I will likely just hang out at home watch a few movies and read my book, The Life of Pi. Okay, really nice. So explanation is in there, answer is in there, correlative conjunctions are in there, details are in there, bada boom, bada bing, band nine. Okay, that's a band nine answer, especially nice and fluent. So repeat after me, students. Always repeat question and answer. Question and answer. Here we go. What do you plan to do on the weekend? Due to the lockdown since the outbreak of this COVID-19 pandemic, I will neither be hanging out with friends nor meeting up with family. Rather, I will likely just hang out at home, watch a few movies, and read my book, The Life of Pi. Perfect. Nice and fluent, high band, good grammar, complex grammar, lots of vocabulary. That's how you get those high scores. All right, that's how you get those high scores. Very good. Rajveer Singh says, on Saturday, I'm going to catch up with my friends to watch a movie. And on Sunday, I will rest and stay at home and play cricket with my parents. Okay, good, Rajveer. So, Rajveer, you're doing a nice job of uh, explaining that your weekend is Saturday and Sunday and what you will do on each of those days. Very good. All right. Again, students, remember, neither nor is used in the negative. Either or is used in the positive. Okay, practice these. I'd love to see you use these in your answers. Um, here we go. So... Here's a nice topic for today in our current time. Uh, the examiner will continue with, let's talk about helping people, okay? Now, when you hear the key verb or the key noun, all right, this is a strategy here, immediately try to think of synonyms. So don't rush into your answers yet, but immediately think of synonyms. So... When the examiner introduces the topic of part one, pay careful attention for the topic words, meaning noun or verb, usually, okay, and immediately think of synonyms, okay? All right, just give me a second here, students. I have to get out of the chat on the website here because I keep getting invited to talk, and that's annoying me for now. So girls and guys keep chatting with each other who are there, but I have to jump out of that. Okay, so um, here we go. So the key word here, of course, 
is helping, helping. Let's underline that. So what you should do is you should think of um, some other ways to say that. So before we get into the questions here, uh, what are different ways to say helping? What are, what are some other words that you can use to say helping? So Sammy says aid, Begjan says assist. Yep, those are good. Anything else? Um, come on, preach serving people. Mm, maybe not as much. Niha, that's good. Support. Yeah, support. There's lots of ways to say this in English, by the way. We've only touched a few. Uh, if you think of some idioms or um, phrasal verbs, that's good too. Okay. Uh, heba, caring is okay. Uh, MD Rola, very nice. Give a hand. Okay. Uh, Lend a hand is a good one. Is a tillo as well. So give a hand or lend a hand. Yeah. Um, so let's see what else is coming up. Contribute is okay. That could work in some contexts as well. Yeah, back up is something that can work. Okay. Yeah, so that's what you want to do. Okay, I see somebody's looking into a dictionary. Secure is good as well, although we rarely use it. All right. Um, okay, good. So that's what you want to do. Uh, let's get into the question. So now you can use all of those beautiful synonyms for help to make your answers really nice. Okay. All right. How often do you get help from others? Give me a nice full sentence answer for this one. How often do you get help from others? Pay attention to the question carefully. So Lisa says, since I'm far away from my family, every time I have a problem, I ask my friend for support. Like I have a problem on my phone. Okay, Lisa, and how often is that in numbers? Once a week, roughly, a couple times a week? Uh, Karen Beer says, I believe I'm lucky to have friends and family who, are all, who always have my back uh, when I need them. This previous Sunday, I lost my keys for my car and my friend helped me find them. Good. Um, again, though, Karen Beer, uh, it's a good answer, but you have to answer the how often. Okay, so that's frequency. So think of frequency, students. All right. Think of frequency. Let's see. Uh, Beck John, uh, Omir Zak says, whether it's household chores or my homework assignments, I get frequent assistance from my flatmates since my university assignments are quite challenging. Like yesterday, uh, my buddy Jack helped me do the dishes uh, and that was really nice of him. Okay, Beck John, good. Uh, just uh, finishing that for you. I guess you were thinking of some example like that. Um, students, when it's adverbs of frequency, in your mind, you should always think of qualitative than quantitative, like often, twice a day, okay, or rarely, uh, once a month. Okay. So when you hear this question, how often immediately think adverbs of frequency, always, often, rarely, never, and then immediately think of the quantitative numbers. So twice a day, uh, 10 times a month. Okay. Always something like that. All right. Um, so I often get help from my family and colleagues, uh, whether for work or for personal advice, someone is always available to lend a hand. I would say at least four to five times 
each week. Just yesterday, my wife helped with some emails while I was on some important business calls. Okay, so again, answer, explain, example. That's what you want to do. Um, and uh, remember what I said, the whether or, neither nor, either or, use them, okay? Use them. You're doing a good job. I saw a couple of you uh, using them, so that was nice. Uh, here we go. Repeat after me, students. How often do you get help from others? I often get help from my family and colleagues. Let's change often because it's in the question, and I want to paraphrase that, so let's change that to frequently, okay? So one more time, I frequently get help from my family and colleagues, whether for work or for personal advice, someone is always available to lend a hand. I would say at least four to five times each week. Just yesterday, my wife helped me with some emails while I was on some important business calls. Okay, work on that fluency. Uh, students, these classes are recorded. If you catch something you like, but it's going too fast, you can always look back at the video later on in the day, okay? And again, all of these videos are available on our websites uh, and, of course, our HD videos. So uh, here we go. Next question. If I don't get your question in the chat, students, don't worry about it. I will get different students at different times. So here we go. Next question, what do you usually need help with? What do you usually need help with? So kind of like a follow-up question here. Uh, give me a nice full sentence answer for this one. What do you usually need help with? Okay, uh, Seni Surani says, I usually need help doing uh, something which is not included in my daily activities like preparing uh, new accounts on the, uh, on the net and subscribing for classes at school. Uh, Sandy, not bad. Instead of subscribing, use the word enrolling, okay? So, and enrolling in classes at school, all right? Nigheim An says, as I just mentioned, I usually get assistance when it comes to cooking as I'm a little clumsy with it. My mom always is beside me and gives me a hand. Yesterday, she helped me uh, make some chocolate or some cupcakes. I see that now. Some cupcakes. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Marasa, nice to see you in class. Marasa Baraki says, as I told you in my previous answer, I take help either to enhance my reading, writing, listening, and speaking skills. Like yesterday, Mr. Adrian helped me two times when I sent some of my sample work by email. As you do, Marasa, sometimes I know. Uh, that's good. All right. Um, let's see. A couple more. Uh, Maksud says... For the most part, I need support on my math projects or in my math projects. My elder brother helps me about four times a week by explaining uh, some equations. Just yesterday, my brother helped me with an arduous task involving irrational numbers. Very good, Maksud. I gave you a little bit more vocabulary there to get those higher band scores. It was really nice. Okay. Um, Kevin Bui says, it's embarrassing to admit, but I'm in need of support with practically all kinds of tasks like household chores uh, by my parents as I'm cramming for this IELTS test and because the exam is really challenging. Okay, very nice, Kevin. I like how you explained it. All right, that was really good. Uh, Elena Mori says, I need help in my IELTS studies. There's nothing better than online resources like Academic IELTS Help and IELTS Speaking Success. Teachers are very friendly and those websites are useful. Thank you, Elena, for the uh, ad <laughs> there. And uh, that was a good answer, by the way. So use your real life context. Absolutely, okay. 
Well, I'm slightly embarrassed to admit, but I often need help finding my belongings. I have a bit of the absent-minded professor syndrome, and at times I will lose a pencil that is behind my ears. Nevertheless, I'm fortunate to have a very clever wife who always seems to know where I put my things. Now, usually you don't want to use the word things, but here it's okay. I'm teaching you a new expression as well, the absent-minded professor. The absent-minded professor is that kind of attitude or person where they're clever, they're smart, but they will accidentally forget where they put their cup of coffee. Okay, so repeat after me. Uh, what do you usually need help with? Well, I'm slightly embarrassed to admit, but I often need help finding my belongings. I have a bit of the absent-minded professor syndrome, and at times I will lose a pencil that is behind my ears. Nevertheless, I'm fortunate to have a very clever wife who always seems to know where I put my things, not but my things, but put my things. All right, let's keep going. Here's a good question. When is it important to ask for help? Give me a nice full sentence answer for this one. When is it important to ask for help? Okay, when is it important to ask for help? Chanacha says, I need help with shopping because I don't have a car. I ask my boyfriend for helping me do my weekly shopping um, due to not only heaps of groceries, but also the shopping center is far away. Uh, Chanacha, don't use the word stuff, okay? Don't use the word things too. I shouldn't use it either. Uh, these don't make a lot of sense uh, in speaking. They're too ambiguous. So instead of stuff, use the word groceries, okay? Ferdov Znabiev says, it is essential to ask for help during economic crisis to sustain family with food and to pay for bills like during the COVID-19 pandemic. Just yesterday, I asked for money to pay rent. Very good for doves. So during a crisis, nice thinking, good thinking. Elena Mori says there are, there are several situations when it is necessary to ask for help, like when someone does not have any idea about the task or, or that he or she has been given at their workplace. Okay. All right, Charlie, I don't see the other part of your writing there. That answer is really short. Alak Haider says, sometimes I need help with uh, unfamiliar situations. In these cases, I should ask someone who has good experience um, because uh, they can give me helpful advice to avoid trouble. Okay, Alak, I had to change that a bit to make it sensible. Review that when you have some time. It's at 34 minutes. Okay. Kapet Chewy says, it's essential to ask for help when you haven't got the information. Just ask. When you're in a difficult situation, it's good to reach out to someone for assistance. Okay, explanation example, Kapet. Explanation example, very important. Otherwise, it's just a broad general idea. I can't give you full marks. For band nine, especially for this kind of a question, students, you have to uh, give an explanation. And it's a time 
um, question, when. So you have to think of time, right? And what time or what situation. Hemant Sharma says, I believe that we should ask for assistance only when it's really impossible for us to achieve the task. Uh, just like nowadays, since it's locked down, it's totally okay asking people for essential items like food if you are unable to go out and buy it on your own or if people are unable to buy it on their own. Avoid the word you, students. Okay, avoid the word you. Sammy Rocky says, it's compulsory to ask for help when our life is in danger or at risk. Just the other day, one of my friends met with an accident, then immediately called me and I rushed to help him. Very good, Sammy. Yeah, so when our, life, when our lives are threatened, that's a really good example. Okay. Uh, so AM Uni says, even though helping each other is a positive... Uh, I don't, it doesn't mean you're allowed to be chill every time you have a problem. Just asking for help, just ask for help when you really need it. Okay, again, students, avoid the word you. It makes for better conversation. Pachu Yadav says, it is important to ask for help in a situation when it's an emergency and it requires the uh, knowledge of others to escape from that problem. Absolutely. Okay, uh, I'm still looking for those examples, students. I'm sure you can come up with some good examples for when it's really important to ask for help. Uh, Kamal Sharma says, well, I think it's important to ask for help when people are really stuck in a perilous situation during a crisis. Like at this time, people are facing food problems due to the lockdown and it's the right choice to request someone for assistance before starvation. Right? Starvation. Oh, my camera decided to chill out as well. Give me one second and I'll get you back. Okay. Just a moment. I got really excited with the uh, answers there. Meanwhile, you can have a peek at my baby girl when she was just a little teeny weeny infant. Here we go. Just give me two seconds. All right. We'll get you back here. Meanwhile, think about those examples that I mentioned, okay? Think about those examples. All right. There we go. A little bit of a mental break there. Technical break as well. Okay. Um, so let's see. A couple more, a couple more, and then we'll... Continue on. Greek Greek says it is essential to ask for help when the task cannot be done one by one person, uh, like plumbers when they have to lift a heavy pipe. They always ask uh, to give them a hand from others. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Arpan. Thank you, Flower Sun. Okay, um, so here we go. In either uh, perilous situations where a person's life is in danger or in challenging tasks where one person cannot do the job, it is the right call to ask for assistance. Like being lost in the forest and calling search and rescue or lifting a heavy couch. Sure, so I used uh, some of your uh, suggestions there and uh, put it together. So here we go. Uh, repeat after me. When is it important to ask for help? 
in either perilous situations where a person's life is in danger or in challenging tasks where one person cannot do the job, it is the right call to ask for assistance. The right call is an expression which means the right decision. Okay, so use that, the right call. All right. Uh, and then here's a smooth flowing example. So I didn't say for example or for instance. It's much faster to just use like, like being lost in the forest and calling search and rescue or lifting a heavy couch. So smooth flowing examples. All right. And then you can give a little bit more explanation after the example as well. So otherwise, a person could lose their life or strain their back, right? Being lost in the forest or lifting a heavy couch. All right, next question, students. Here we go. You're doing a great job. We're almost there. Have you helped someone recently? How? That's a great question. Try to be truthful here, students. I'd love to see some nice, honest answers of how you have helped someone uh, recently. Okay. EC Music says, sure, just 20 minutes ago before coming to this room, I offered another candidate to practice speaking because he was too nervous and his hands were shaking. I tried to help him to acquire confidence before the exam, and I bet I succeeded. EC Music, that is a beautiful answer, okay? Um, all right, Seni Surani says, I tried to assist by recommending cheap prices for special medical accessories uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, students, this is a present perfect question, so really work hard to give a present perfect answer, okay? Sumaya, here's, a correct, here's the correct way to start. If I remember correctly, around three days ago, I helped my friend choose a university uh, which she will enter. Uh, it was an important choice, and I felt uh, that it was important help in her life. Okay, Sumaya, a couple of corrections there to be more natural, all right? Uh, for Dobbs says, I have just uh, given my hand to my neighbor to bring food from the shop as she worries about her health because she's in the vulnerable group of seven at the eight, at the age of 77. And I'm so happy to be able to help someone. Very nice of you for Dobbs. And that sounds like it's something you really did. Good for you. Okay. Uh, Elena. Yes. Recently, I have helped some homeless in my community by giving them hand sanitizers and masks to um, safeguard them from the coronavirus outbreak. A couple of corrections there, Elena. That also sounds like so, a, a page from your real life. Really nice, Elena. Good for you for helping the needy in such challenging times. Nick Hayan says, yes, actually I have helped my brother to review and prepare for his upcoming math exam. He usually gets in trouble with statistics. I've searched and taught him some tips to perform better and faster. Okay, Nikhem, better, faster. Uh, very nice. Good, Nikhem. Again, that sounds like you actually helped out your brother. Good for you. Kevin Bui says, of course, lately I've uh, instructed my mom to create online Google Forms which can aid her in her teaching during this lockdown. Uh, despite not being tech savvy, I was uh, also, I was able to guide her quite well with this task as after two hours of intensive study, she was able to work with the site independently, which was quite a stride at her age. Very nice, Kevin. Very nice. Helping your mom to be a little bit better with the technical side of life. Good for you. Okay. These are our very encouraging and motivating students. So thank you so much for sharing these with us. JC Lynn says, due to the recent uh, COVID-19 pandemic, I haven't had the chance to give a hand to many people. Nevertheless, I'm at home. So I have had the chance to help my parents with some 
tasks and I'm glad about that. Okay, JC, so nice. So you're helping your parents. Again, a couple of corrections there. Pay attention to that. Sammy Rocky says, yep, I've helped one of my colleagues when he was unable to finish his that task due to his uh, mother's critical health problem. Uh, he felt very happy and uh, thanked me. Yeah, good for you, Sammy. Okay. Morasa says, yes, just last week, I have helped my best friend, Sarah, due to the tough situation of the COVID-19. Uh, she ran out of money. Not only did I give her some cash, but I also did some grocery shopping with her. Very nice, Morasa. Very nice. Okay. All right. Uh, so... Yes, I have helped some students recently. Improve their English and communication skills by creating a new interactive speaking feature on my company's website whereby they can connect with each other and practice for the IELTS speaking section. This service is absolutely free and students can study from home without risking infection. All right, so just like I showed you at the beginning of this uh, class, there is that speaking feature, which is working beautifully now. We had it in the past, but it didn't work so well, and we made sure that it works for everyone now. Uh, so that's how I have helped uh, some students, is uh, by offering you this chance to freely interact with each other through this interface. And like I said, later this week, you will also have access to lots of speaking questions for uh, people, places, objects, and so forth. So check that out. Uh, repeat after me, uh, students. Have you helped someone recently? How? Yes, I have helped some students recently improve their English and communication skills by creating a new interactive speaking feature on my company's website whereby they can connect with each other and practice for the IELTS speaking section. This service is absolutely free and students can study from home without risking infection. All right. Last question, students. Last question. If you need assistance during work or school, who do you ask for help? That's the last one for today. Give me your best. Give me your best possible answer. Give me your best possible answer for this one. If you need assistance during work or school, who do you ask for help? Roshni Kunte says, without a doubt, I will get help from my best friend, Sherby, if I'm required assistance from my work or study because she resides just next to my home and it only takes me 10 minutes uh, to reach her from my office. Good, Roshni. Nice answer. Bekjan says, if I need help during my studies at university, I would definitely ask my friend, whose name is uh, Irman, because he is very intelligent and can solve any task that I challenge him with. Very good, Bekjan. What kind of tasks have you challenged him with? Okay. All right. Komal Preet says, yep. As I have a delicate nature, uh, I'm easily touched, so I love to help everyone who I can, even animals. Like I remember last month, I helped a lady whose leg is paralyzed to cross the road. Okay, that's for the previous one. 
Uh, Vanita Rishi says, frankly speaking, at first I try my uh, best friend to solve any difficult task. However, if I need a helping hand, then I would rather seek help from my colleague Sangeeta as she is an expert with computers. Vanita, not bad. A few corrections there. Pay attention to that. Irene Domingo says it's uh, very inspiring to help the needy during this situation. Like today, I help our community provide relief uh, needed for people to live. Okay, Irene, I think that was for the last one. Uh, Rajveer says, if I need assistance in my work, I will ask my friend Rahul for his helping hand as he has all the technical knowledge about the project and he had helped me in the past as well. Very good, Rajveer. Good to have a friend like that. All right. Saswati says, in my school, if I need assistance, I go to the HR department straight away. I never come back empty-handed like last week. I didn't receive my paycheck, so I went to HR and they fixed it right away. Saswati, nice answer, explanation, and example. All right. So... Whenever I need some aid during my work, I usually reach out to our company's lead tech, Mario, because he is an expert with all kinds of computer knowledge. And this is my weakest area of knowledge, of expertise. Just yesterday, I had to get a hand from him to debug a critical server issue. All right. Uh, so, again, reflect the grammar of the question. It's if you need assistance. So it's a conditional. Make sure to show conditional in your answer. Uh, if you need assistance during work or school, who do you ask for help? So we're looking for a person here. Give me a nice full answer here. Speak and repeat. Whenever I need some aid during my work, I usually reach out to our company's lead tech, Mario, because he is an expert with all kinds of computer knowledge, and this is my weakest area of expertise. Just yesterday, I had to get a hand from him to debug a critical server issue. Uh, students, that's speaking part one in a nutshell. Give answers, explanations, examples, practice, your correlative conjunctions. Tomorrow we'll have two classes for reading. Make sure you join us there. Check us out at aehelp.com for academic IELTS, gieltshelp.com for general. And if you want to keep practicing your speaking, don't be shy, ladies and gentlemen. Go to the website. Remember, it's here. You just have to click, it's free. You just have to click on that student partner speaking. If somebody's not available, it's because they might be in a chat, okay? So, uh, of course, you have to accept the uh, terms and conditions that you're going to play nice. And then uh, here, you can already see that Aa uh -uh Tezaz is waiting for somebody to join and hang out with him and have a conversation. You can do just audio or you can do video as well. Okay, continue. So now is a good time. You're rolling. You've been using English. Practice with others. Jump in there. Get in there um, and uh, connect with each other. Don't be shy. Uh, you can uh, send each other a, a text first if that makes you more comfortable. So send a text and say, hey, are you available? Can we talk for five or ten minutes? Keep that window open. Okay, and tomorrow I'll be back with some reading. I see lots of people jumping in now, okay? So connect with each other, practice 
your English. All right, there, there's lots of people jumping in now. And don't be shy, use it, okay? Hey, you can always close the window if you get scared and freak out, but don't do that. <laughs> all right, that's it for today, students. Thank you so much for your contributions. I wish you uh, a great rest of your day. If it's late in your country, then uh, get some rest, sweet dreams. Bye for now. Much love, everyone, from the heart of Europe, Budapest. See you tomorrow.